Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you've got an Android TV box, you've probably seen this error message, which is your device isn't compatible with this version. So what we're gonna do is take a look at how we can fix this. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but it does happen with a lot of Android TV boxes and I'll show you how to quickly uh, get around it. So you wanna go into the Play Store here and I'll quickly show you what the error message looks like when you try to download any sort of application. Now this happened on a particular type of uh, Android TV box. You can go to any sort of program and you can see here your device isn't compatible with this version. Now some uh, actual applications may let you download them, uh, but some don't. And you can see this one's come up also with your device isn't compatible with this version. Now I've seen this quite a lot on different types of Android TV boxes and there is a workaround. Now some apps you may be able to download and install and I'll quickly show you here. You can see this one has now come up with the install button and it allows you to download and install it. But the majority of stuff that I wanted to use would not let me uh, download and install. Now you could use an APK mirror and sideload them that way and put them on but I don't want to do that because I want to use the Google Play Store. So let me just show you the method that I did to try and work around this issue. So what we're going to do here is go into the settings here and then go into apps. Once you're inside apps, you want to scroll all the way down. This is where all your apps are. You want to come down to the Google section. You'll see these little green um, Android icons. These are your areas here where you want to look down at. And you can see Google Play Store, Google Play Services, Make sure that's all running. You want to clear all the cache out of here as well. You can see the cache is inside here and data. I'm going to click on those and click OK and it will clear all the data. And this will try to clear any account information, databases, anything like that, just in case there's been some sort of issue there. So what I'll do is I'll quickly click on this. It does take a bit of time to clear that data depending on how much data is stored inside the Google Play uh, services area. So let's click on OK here and it will take us into the Google Play services uh, storage and you can see here manage search uh, data also manage wearable storage and clear all data. I want to clear all the data from inside here now yours may have a lot more data but you can see it's cleared all that data for us and that's an important step okay. Now make sure your permissions are all okay. So check the permissions. Go inside here where it says permissions. And you want to make sure you're giving yourself all the permissions to get this working correctly. Now also uh, the actual Google Play Store itself, you want to clear all those and also the service framework. I'm going to clear all that stuff as well. So anything to do with the Google Play Store, clear all that data and you can see I've cleared all the data here now that's all clear and all the cache and then once you've done all that just check those permissions as well to make sure they are all working okay go into additional uh, permissions and make sure you've got everything working okay in there as well so next up what we want to do here is clear the cache on the Google Play Store and you'll see the cache inside there, clear cache and also clear data and check the permissions. So make sure the permissions are okay first and that you're allowing permissions for contacts and everything else. Then clear the cache and we're just gonna go okay here. And then once we do this, this will clear any sort of cache inside uh, the Google Play Store. And once we've done that, we can go into there again and just clear the data and clear up all the data inside here and you can see all this apps uh, data will be uh, deleted permanently this includes all files settings accounts and databases etc i like to do this just in case uh, there's an issue and you can always set this back up again uh, but once you've done that you should be okay then go back in there and check your settings so restart the box and then go back into the play store And once you go back in here, you can then do a search for those programs that would not install. So we'll go benchmark here. So let's go ahead and uh, try these uh, benchmark software, which we did try before. Now you can see there, there is a little message saying this app may not be optimized for your device. I'm still going to install it 
and see whether it installs and you can see it's verifying and downloading okay now and it did run okay on this actual uh, TV box so I just want to let this uh, download so I'll quickly speed this part up so we don't have to wait and uh, once that's downloaded we'll see whether it installs okay and there we go it's starting to install and uh, once that's done you're ready to go now the other one was Geekbench 4 you can see this app may not be optimized for your device again we're just going to install that and let that install now I'm not sure why this app may not be optimized for your device uh, pops up so that's another issue that I need to look into but it does run and the software does run on here so what I'm going to do is let that install and there we go starting to install and both of these programs work fine when I run them there was no problems at all there we go that's installed and you can now run it and that's pretty much it that's how you can resolve that issue now if you don't want to use that method and you don't want to go through all that um, a palaver there you can go to the APK uh, mirror sites which are on uh, the internet so just open up a browser here I'll quickly show you this one as well just in case you're not familiar with it you can go to Google and just type in it APK mirror and then push OK or enter and you should see APK mirror here you just click on there and you can do a search for the apps that you want to install and it will let you download them and install them and you can install them that way because these are APK files anyway that's just a quick way of working around this error message and I hope it helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk enjoy the sunny weather while it lasts bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos